G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, it's going to be a quick one for me today because I've got a big day of work so I don't have a lot of time. But look, market cap up ever so slightly. We've broken back above that $1.7 trillion mark. Don't know if it's going to hold just yet. We'll have to wait and see. Bitcoin dominance up, for, up above 40%. Volume down a lot. BTC price hovering just you know above that $36,000 level. Haven't been able to really break the $37,000 level. Excuse me, and gas prices down. All right, we can see there's a couple of gainers, which is nice. So what's done well in the last 24 hours? Top 100. There we go. Akomi, big gain. Bora, big gain. Loopring, uh, Pocket Network, which was down the other day. So we got lots of, not lots, but we got a number of double-digit gains. But remember, we've seen this before, ladies and gentlemen. So now it's about can it hold? You know, is this a little bit of bullish narrative with the... FOMC or whatever the meeting is that's happening over in the States are people you know thinking that it's not going to be as bad or is this again just a bit of a dead cat bounce what hasn't fed well in the last 24 hours top 100 make it down a little bit Celsius Zcash look single digit losses and not much at all ADA down around about a dollar uh, looking very very interesting it has bounced from a dollar a number of times over probably the last 12 months or so. So you know, I'm not saying it's a buy. I'm just saying it looks interesting. You've got to make your own mind up. I'll never offer you financial advice. All right, now let's go to the markets and have a look. So Bitcoin, again, we got this bounce down at 32, sort of, sorry, 33,000. And it's come up, but it already looks like it's possibly going to roll over and it's only midweek. So that's why. Is this more of, you know, we've had a... Bounce up, roll over, 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 and it's just continued. Is that what's about to happen now? Definite possibility. Guaranteed? Absolutely not. Nothing is guaranteed. That may have been the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. The CME gap basically being completely covered could be it may not be it as well we just have to wait and see right ethereum very similar thing it's just it's rolled over a little bit already and it's just kind of hanging on thin ice and again i'm really looking at it getting down to kind of the 2100 dollar mark thereabouts maybe not exactly like mine only come to here so uh 2190 let's just say 2200 uh, again, I've got my buy orders set in. You've got to do what's right by you. I've showed you how to do that if you watched my videos the other day. Uh, but, you know, not exactly looking strong at the moment. Total crypto market cap, uh, much sort of the same. It looks a little bit stronger, like it might have found support, but still could absolutely roll over uh, and go one lower. And like I said, really my bottom target, I'm thinking, unless we're in a bear market, which I don't think we are, unless this is the new bear market, it runs for a few months and then pumps up, but I think we could get down to the $1.34 trillion mark. I definitely think that's possible. I think it'll be a wick. Uh, if anything, I don't think it'll be uh, a full-on candle body down there again unless we are in a, a bear market that we're kind of used to and i'm not sold on that just yet but spx still going down as well but look it's a bit of an indecision candle wicks to the upside and the downside quite large but the wicks that push down they don't last long so it does look like it's finding support around this kind of four thousand three hundred and fifty ish dollar level Dow Jones, much the same, pushed back up, which is nice. Again, really big wicks to the downside, but they are being bought up quite quite quickly. So that is promising. And unfortunately for the ASX, it just continues to go lower. It is not looking strong at all. So at the moment, it's really hard to pick. You know, have we found some support? Is the bottom in or is it just, again, basically going to be another bit of a, uh, a fake out, a very small relief rally, aka a dead cat bounce where it simply folds over? Or have we actually found the bottom and is this the part where, I don't know if we're going to spring back up like that. It'll really depend on what the Fed come out with and particularly the crypto regulations that they're going to come out with stateside, they said sort of maybe early February. So we're literally only sort of a week and a half, maybe two and a half weeks away from getting that news. Uh, that's what really we're really waiting on. I don't know if any information that we get tomorrow will be enough to 
push the market sky high, but it might be enough to kind of level it out. And again, these may be the new bear markets. Maybe it's literally, I mean, what was that? April through to July. So, you know, sort of three months. And this one has been November, which is a lot longer, all the way through to January. So we're already into sort of four months there. Are these maybe the new uh, bear markets where we're kind of playing micro cycles? That is what I'm looking for. Uh, and unfortunately, look, you're not going to know until after it's happened and then you can look back on it and go, oh yeah, I see what happened there. I can't predict the future. I wish I could. I don't know where the markets are at. None of the markets are looking great at the moment. But the promising is that, you know, these large, wick, large wicks to the downside, they are getting bought up very, very quickly. But how long can, can that last? Because Bitcoin may lead us out of this, may show the first signs of us going out. But if these other bigger markets, sorry, just continue to roll over, then Bitcoin will roll over. That is as guaranteed as you can get. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Small gains in there. Uh, are they going to be enough? I don't know. And I'll see you next time.